Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Antibirth Plus. Uh, yesterday's daily, we're doing a daily today, obviously. Yesterday's daily, we died, but we still came 278th, top 1.57%, so we increased our rank. Mostly because the only way to get to the place where you could get extra points on yesterday's daily was to play the self-sacrifice room and then you come down to the dark room and you're almost dead by the time you get there. Anyway, uh, we're 93rd overall right now with a 5.47 percentile average rank. Let's see how today's daily goes. It's Apollyon. I think this might be our first Apollyon daily and it goes all the way. Alright, well this should be interesting. Now I'm looking at, again, every time, I'm looking at that and I'm going... Is that the dark room or is that the chest? In the end, it doesn't really matter because they're only going to give me one of the Polaroid or the negative when we get down um, to the mom fight. Assuming we live that long, which you never know. So what's the play with Apollyon? Well, honestly, I feel like uh, I might be at a little bit of a disadvantage relative to my normal uh, standing because I haven't really played much Apollyon lately. I've been doing a lot of Eden uh, and then basically whatever characters the daily wants to give me. So... We, uh, we, maybe it'd be beneficial to go over the mechanics of, essentially, the void item here. So, we can suck up active items. By the way, I took the quarter, rather than sucking it up, because points and also purchasing power, but... We can suck up active items. Oh, it's so good. Or, by sucking up active items, we basically imprint their effects on our spacebar item. Sure, you got that. Um, we can also suck up passives. When we suck up passives, it'll have a random stat, and then I always say increase, but I don't actually know if it's always an increase. It might be, uh, just a random stat effect. So we're back up to 20 cents here. Um, I feel like, although it might seem a little bit on the, uh, unnecessary side, and it might be unnecessary, I'm gonna buy a key, and I'm gonna buy a spirit heart. And the reason we're gonna do that Wow, that was really good. We're gonna buy this card as well. Because it's very cheap right now. The reason we're gonna do that is to protect our deal with the devil chances as much as possible, and uh... Ooh, a black rune is also really cool. So, um, we don't need a death card. Goodbye death card. I'm sorry I wasted your time by bringing you into this existence, but so be it. We had like an extreme advantage in terms of our finances on this floor. And, and it continues to just be like exceptional here, so... Um, this has been an incredibly strong first floor. Now, we haven't had much opportunity to suck any items up, but uh, good god, we got Purity Steven Steam Sale. Are you a wizard right before the boss fight's gonna slow us down a bit, admittedly, but... Um, our damage is 5.19 and our rate of fire is 6 right now. Which means, effectively, with Are You a Wizard, it's like 12. Because we're... Unless we encountered an enemy that was shaped like a fucking V. Um, not all these tiers are gonna hit. In fact, we'd be lucky to have, like, slightly less than half of them hit. So we're just gonna wait for Are You a Wizard to run out, and that's gonna cost us a little bit of time, but life goes on. Either way, uh, yeah, this first floor is ridiculous so far. We got an HP upgrade. Things from shops are gonna cost us half as much from this point onward. We got a damage upgrade, and then a variable statistics increase. And we got the, the quarter as well, which allowed us to pick up, well, the steam sale, so... There you go. And, you know, the other... Well, and more HP, sure. And then here, you know what? Suck it up. We got a tears and damage up. We're very lucky that we got this HP or the HP earlier on the run, so we didn't feel the need to pay uh, the, the tax for taking that HP, and instead it worked out amazingly for us. You know what? We got another uh, well, range plus shot speed increase from sucking up the bean with Black Rune. We don't need to suck up the bean. Um, we'll go back for that. You don't need to suck up the bean with... Um, Void because you know you, you only really care about getting the items that really give you an advantage and those are typically uh, You know once every four rooms once every three rooms once every six rooms sort of payouts the, Having the bean active doesn't really matter because we're gonna be looking more to generate either spirit hearts or You know get full floor mapping with the crystal ball or something like that or you know Increase damage with book of belial or crush all the rocks in the room with the nail you know you get the idea here so we're going to be done with this floor very quickly. I am an idiot who wasted a bomb, but I never would have thought that the secret room could be there. That would not have been my first choice. So, lucky us, I guess. Uh, pay to play, I don't think is worth it. Dull Razor, I don't understand, and that's on me, but... Get Hive Mind, and... You know what? Okay, I'll tell you what. 
I'm gonna pick that up as insurance. I'm gonna go fight the boss and see what we might be able to get slash suck up from the, um... From the deal with the devil, which we're basically guaranteed to qualify for. And then we'll we'll tackle this, because it might look a little different after that point. I'm going to pop the Empress here, just so we don't find ourselves in a weird spot. So, I, I'll tell you straight up. Obviously, I don't want to be hit, because it's going to fuck up my, um, my rate of fire right now via the uh, purity. However... Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. However, um, our damage is still going to be great no matter what. Like... We're not even close to being in a, in a tight spot right now when it comes to boss rush or hush. Um, PJs will, will take, I assume, and uh, we'll take the mark. Uh, honestly, Demon Baby is, like, decent, but I want the freedom to suck up HP upgrades in the future. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to take it because PJs gives you uh, a bunch of spirit hearts. Yeah, okay, so we're pretty good in that department. And Demon Baby is, like, a little extra damage. So then we come back here and we go, okay, what do you got? You got a hive mind. I'll take it. And you know what? I'm going to take Mom's Coin Purse, because it, we could get HP up out of it. We know that HP up is in our rotation. Obviously, we didn't get it, but uh, I, I still felt like there was a reason to go for that. And obviously, it didn't work out in the end uh, too well, but it was only 7 cents as well. So, we are going to go to the Curse Room with our final play here, and we're hoping for Guppy items, obviously. Are you a wizard? Retrovision. Not that bad. Obviously, we took uh, more damage than we could have gotten away with taking on this floor, but uh, it, it's hard to be pissed off about it, because this run is in, like, an amazing place right now with respect to, you know, damage, tears, etc. Like, HP, we're in, a, we're in a really good spot. I wish I could have gotten to that uh, special room, but life goes on. Uh, the, the boss trap room, I mean. Again, you know, that's the thing with a good daily, is that everybody has a good daily. But... Are we having a better daily than average? I, it's impossible to say, but what I will say is that I think that we've pretty much made the right decisions as far as... Uh, it, it seems like we've made the right decisions as far as when to when to suck, when to black rune, etc, etc. So, I would probably take HP. We didn't get it, but I would take it. Right now, the one like sore spot on this run, and it's not even that bad of a sore spot, is that um, we don't really have much use for the void it did give us a nice uh, damage increase that I'm never gonna you know be displeased by we're gonna check out our curse room right now save a little bit of time maybe at the expense of some damage which we can afford right now although I yeah let's well keep getting smaller here um, it is worth noting that you know every time we uh, we take a hit it, it mixes up our aura so um, Right now, that's maybe a good thing. We got to speed down for uh, a pretty gargantuan damage increase, but maybe, you know, something to pay attention to in the future. Although, probably not too much, is my guess. Um, I like the, the rate of fire increase the most, I think, but... Certainly doing 11 damage on the second or the third floor is, is also not that bad. <laughs> and by not that bad, I mean, like... After a few of the dailies recently, this is basically like an incredible breath of fresh air. God damn it, okay. So one thing about dailies, dude, as soon as you get hit in a situation where you don't have to get hit, you're like, fuck. <laughs> That's gonna throw me down like four leaderboard positions, and I need everything I can get, you know? I've been I've been talking to my friend Corey who's doing these dailies. He streams late nights, Pacific Standard Time. So if, if particularly if you're in the EU. You know what? That's not worth taking. Yeah, give me the luck and a great rate of fire increase. Um, worth, worth, so worth. Um, you can go give him a, a look at twitch.tv slash flak blag. He always plays the dailies live, um, or often plays the dailies live. I've been mentioning, like, I want to, he's my friend. He beat me in King of Tokyo when we played earlier this week, and I will never forgive the transgression. So we're... I'm, well, I'm kind of unofficially chasing him down on this leaderboard here. He's, he's like one percentile ahead of me, which is actually a, a mammoth difference, to be honest with you. That's not one percentile on one run. That's one percentile on average. So basically on every run that we've ever done. Um, so... You know, I, I let him know that, you know, I've got you in my sights. I'm not a young man anymore, etc., etc. And then, all of a sudden, I go peep his daily scores. Dude's been killing it lately. Absolutely crushing it. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Um, 
Let's... See, here's the deal. I think we should go to the shop because we can afford anything. Um, and potato peeler is actually somewhat tempting to, like, use once. Also, wait, 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 wait. Do we have a battery? We have a battery charge. Okay, so I'm going to buy mom's bottle of pills and suck it up. And then that's probably going to do it for us on this floor. Although, yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay. Do we suck up any other active items? I don't think so. Uh, mostly, like, this isn't that good, but three cents for two pills and the ability to get a pill every time we use void is decent. So we already got one health upgrade out of it. Then we're going to suck it up. We get another pill. This one was explosive diarrhea. Uh, maybe we'll get, yeah, I was going to say, maybe we'll get some consumables there, and then we'll move on. All right. That's, that's great. I mean, we're still way ahead of schedule and making good time. Uh, we have six bombs. We did sacrifice the ability to get an orbital here, but I don't really mind that much. Although, I think, you know, potato peeler's an item I'm, I'm looking forward to exploring maybe more in the future. We've had, like, one novel run with it, and that's it. Oh! You know what? Sun me. Ansus. Dagaz. Use immediately. Algis. Yera. Yera. Oh... Well, I guess you'd, you'd take a Yara with you. We don't need an Awaz. If we're going to the Dark Room, we're not going to care so much about Yara. I think on a daily that goes to the Dark Room, and again, I don't know whether this is the Dark Room or the chest, but we'll find out pretty soon. Um, I th oh, we're not going to be able to get an Arcade. Bummer. Either way, um, means that you probably want to use Yara to double consumables in such a way that you get like a ridiculous point increase out of it. So how's this daily going so far? Honestly, like, really, really well. Um, we probably should use a bomb to get a little extra money there. Three cents is basically worth six cents for us. When it, Well, actually, technically seven, I guess, when it comes to purchasing things from the shop. But, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm doing the, the purchasing power index as changed by the early Steam sale we got. This is not just a, uh, a powerful daily. It's also a really fun daily because there's a... A lot of, uh, of variance inherent, depending on uh, what you've chosen to take for yourself. Now, we could just use a pill immediately, and I, there is some value to that, but I'd rather... I think it's a feast or famine sort of situation where you want the, the best possible chance to get something good. And definitely, like, using the void properly is going to be a big difference here between, you know, high scores and scores that are high but not as good, relatively speaking. Uh, okay, well, you know what? I leave, and then push that in there. My god, he's done it. Uh, we might as well take Rosary Bead here. I will say, I mean, we've taken... We've only been hit maybe three or four times on the whole run. But at least a couple of those were not necessary. Oh, absolutely. It might not be the right call, but it might be the right call. But you, you take it either way. Chaos. And we get several battery charges. And, uh, well, that was also basically another battery charge, so I shouldn't have picked it up right away, but fairly irrelevant is my guess. Um, got a really good deal with the Devil Chance on this floor, so I'm hoping we can pivot that into, um, maybe having little enough... Well, first off, I want to get good items, and then if you can give me, uh, an HP downgrade by taking some of those items, then we can get into the boss trap room, and we're still making great time, so the exploration bonus is, is king right now. Um, I hate looking for second secret rooms on huge rooms like this. It's just annoying, but... You know, we got four bombs. We... I think we, we could go either way. Let's take a look at how things look first. Could there be a secret room there? No. Could there be a secret room here? Yes. Please save me the trouble. Damn. Okay. Well, first things first, uh, I'll eat your brains, then I'll start rocking gold teeth and fangs, because that's what a motherfucking monster do. Young Money Dipset were the monster crew, is that correct? I can't remember. It's been a little while. Anyway, we're killing it right now. You are kidding me with this. So we sucked that up, we got a speed and range increase. Also came with a health upgrade, which we'll take for now, and straight up... I think we're out. Head down to the next floor. Keep building, like, a little bit of time uh, advantage for us on this run. There may come a point in which Chaos is, like, quite clearly not the right decision for us. That's not today, though. Well, it might be. Either either way, I'm gonna take it. It's basically, but... Look, I, I misspoke, and that's okay. I think we're doing well on this daily today. It's just nice to know that, like, 
barring complete disaster, uh, Sparrow complete disaster, we'll be able to, uh, definitely make boss rush. Unless something goes, you know, catastrophically in a super weird direction, Hush should be, like, extremely easy to get as well. Um, I think we could be ranked pretty well on today's daily. And even, like, I was surprised and, and grateful, actually, that yesterday's daily, I thought we made some mistakes that were, uh, not stellar. You know, there's, everybody's gonna make mistakes on an Isaac run. Even, like, the number one score, you might not get hit, there's still gonna be some mistakes. You know, you take 15 seconds extra than you, than you needed to, because you were dilly-dallying for some reason, you know? It happens. But, um, we made some mistakes that certainly I would describe as preventable. Let's go peep this. And, uh, I think we're, we're pretty lucky. Do we know this pill? Yeah, it's not bad, necessarily. Uh, I think we were pretty lucky to find ourselves ranking well. And, I mean, honestly, 1.57, uh, percentile is a really good rank. Although, gotta be honest, given the last week or so, it's maybe even a little bit below average. Not that I'm tooting my own horn or anything like that, I'm just saying, you know. It wasn't like we were unpunished, we were just less punished than I expected to be. I expected to be, like, outside of the top, you know, 10%. But it was a, it was a tough-ish daily. To, to win, at least. Um, but today's, I'm feeling, I'm feeling switched on. You definitely take 99 bombs, I mean, that's such a huge point increase for us. And then credit card, um, is a weird call. I think you just use it right now, and then you save Yera. And I guess you suck up Mr. Boom. But it's not some... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Perks? No, okay, we want this still. You might be saying, why not use credit card on a deal with the devil or something like that? You know you're going to get a deal with the devil. Yes, you're not wrong. You're, you're very correct, in fact. Um, however, I want this Yera rune. I think the Yera rune is worth more points. First off, I can't say Yera rune without... Pretending that I'm I'm some sort of you know hungry dog. Yerarun, but all this aside, um, yeah, we're moving on. All this aside, um, I think that this is the right call. I'd rather, especially with HP upgrades being fairly common on this run right now. Thanks, to, oh, thanks to health up being in the rotation. I'm uh, I'm totally fine spending HP, which is basically what we did by not getting rid of the credit, or by not taking the credit card with us. Okay, slow your roll here. Rate of fire, um, the aura is not benefiting you right now, so... You are gonna be a little slower, but this is like... I've been going to every single avenue that we could possibly find here, and we have not found ourselves, uh... slowing down too much en route to boss rush. I will say, yeah, thank you for getting rid of the speed aura. That's so unnecessary right now. Any, like, there we go. Rate of fire increase is huge. Sure, I mean, we'll take it. I mean, we'll, you know, like, we just, we'll take it is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, do I care about a secret room? Not as much as I care about for sure being ahead of the curve when it comes to boss rush. That was a bad bomb. Um, that was a better one. And, okay. Let's go fight this boss. 100% deal with the devil chance. Honestly, I think I would void little gish. Mostly because I don't get too many opportunities to use a polyon, so I want to make the best use possible of the spacebar item here. Uh, but it's not a bad item, necessarily. I'm just, without BFF, I think, uh, it's worth voiding. But first, okay, what the fuck is that? I don't know. We're good. Guppy, yes, and then... Delirious, unleash the power. You know, um, I mean, it seems like you should probably just do that, and, uh... I, I've blown myself up, it summons a boss to fight for you? Is that the case? That seems extremely good. Alright. Um, well, we spent. So, obviously that seems like it'll be amazing on Boss Rush. And we basically made, even though I've never seen this item before, maybe this is like the 1 million and 1% 1 item or whatever, but um, this seems like a, an endgame item that if you use on Boss Rush, you're just going to shit on enemies. We also uh, basically did the ideal void play. What's the ideal void play? Um... You take an item that has infinity charges and imprint it on Void, which has only six. 
And I think that's going to be good for us. Now, the question will become, is that a one-time use item or not? If it's not, we're sitting pretty. If it is, slightly more annoying. But, you know, we, we still we wanted to check it out for the first time ever. Okay, so we're back up to full HP. Again, there was some damage we've taken that has not been essential or compulsory to take. And on this floor, biggest concern is definitely just making boss rush. We don't have a... Um, we don't have an orbital. Normally wouldn't be a big deal. I mean, is is still not a big deal, but... Um, we... Can't reliably kill mom that fast. You know, I don't want scatter bombs that badly, even though we have bomb synergies. Okay, so stop standing still when you do that, because you're just uh, you're just hurting yourself. Don't mind. Don't mind. I am a little concerned about boss rush. It always happens this way, doesn't it? I start a run. We're going real fast. Oh, we're slow. Oh, we almost missed boss rush, but we didn't. Um, so. Again, I don't think we're necessarily in, like, too tight of a situation right now. Especially with that being the second secret room as I expected it would be. But, you know, you don't want to necessarily play too fast and loose with your time here. Especially because we do want to go to the um, the regular fight as well. Or the, the hush fight, I mean. I don't know why I would surmise that the hush fight is the regular fight. Anyway, um, great damage right now at the very least. Let's go finish Mom off, and then we'll be, like, basically right on... I think, actually think we will be right on time to use uh, the Delirious item, which I, I don't even understand, but... I think it gives you a boss every time you use it that fights for you, but it doesn't last... It doesn't last uh, forever, it only lasts for the... For the moment, for that room, I should say. Still trying to go pretty hard on this one, because... Uh, you know, the timing is getting a little suspect. More syringes, please. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine still. Will be fine. But man, I'm glad we didn't have to look anymore. You know what? Don't give me Krampus. Oh, fuck. You gotta go, dude. You gotta go. Whatever. Hit me. Hit me. No. No. No! Well, um, straight up, kiss a good run goodbye here. Uh, well, not a good run. Kiss a, kiss a great score goodbye. Because that's a super bummer, dude. We were we were on time for boss rush. Slightly slow. And then just couldn't commit to killing Krampus fast enough. We, we should have been able to. It's actually, like, completely my bad. Um, first off, there's a couple of obvious mistakes you can throw out there. I think that might be a health up. But a um, couple of obvious mistakes you throw out there. If boss rush is so important, why go to the deal with the devil? Well, I mean, the, that's the problem with that is that sometimes it's going to be the right decision, you know? You don't want to, um, you don't want to not go to the deal with the devil and, uh, and just miss it for no reason. The fact that it was Krampus, though, fucked us up. And really, the other, as soon as I figured out that we were fighting Krampus, we probably could have beaten him in, like, 15 seconds if I had just actually gone for it. So now I'm going to try to uh, leverage the fact that I didn't fight uh, Krampus. There's the, the fact that I didn't fight Boss Rush. And, and how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to try to go for like a decent time bonus now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush a little bit at the cost of exploration. Um, in the hopes that, you know, people are going to spend probably not that much time on Boss Rush because of the fact that, you know, Delirious seems like it's a great... Uh, counter there, but um, we're going to try to speed it up a little bit and maybe that can give us a slight edge that otherwise wouldn't exist. You know, why is this room so fucking annoying right now? Dude, just eat it. Eat it, dude! There we go. Got a question mark. Amazing. The Bible. It's a, at least it's you know, a chance for us to get the uh, Bookworm in the future. That, it did take the wind out of my sails a little bit. I'll, I'll admit that. Uh, I'll admit that straight up. It's just that that's a super bummer. But at the same time, as soon as I sometimes when I I 
think about the troll engine in Isaac, I go, you know, what is the trolliest thing they could do here? Because that seems to be part of the uh, game design decisions. I don't know why we still have these nubs, but I'll take it. For uh, how Isaac works. Now, I'm not suggesting that there's a conspiracy here. Because the odds are that the daily just sort of manifested that by itself, I would imagine. I don't think the dailies are curated. It's not really fair to say that, you know, when a daily sucks or does something shitty to you, it's curated. And when it doesn't, then it's not. But not that that's ever stopped me before. Um, hey, hey. Either way. Um, if you could just pop up. I call it the Tyrone Principle. It's like, what... How would Tyrone suck your dreams away here? Well, he would put Krampus on the deal with the devil to entice you. Sadly, that did end up being the way that things went down. Life goes on, you know. We're gonna, I think we're probably still going to do okay on today's daily, you know, maybe. Let me put it this way, I mean, now that we're in the top 100, even being in the top 5% on a daily still is enough to raise my uh to raise my global rank, assuming that not everybody, you know, behind me does better than me, which, you know, some will and some won't probably is the logical extension of that, I'd imagine. This could be the boss fight. And I'm, I'm still banking on the idea that, I don't, I don't think it's a high percentage chance, but I think there is a chance that maybe, just maybe, this time play is going to work for us. I don't think it's going to elevate us to the top, you know, uh, you know, 100. But I think it, it might allow me to make up a little bit of time. Although it also depends completely on what people got from Boss Rush. If they got, like, amazing items, then there's really no other recourse. But we got to try something, basically. That's how it goes down. Um, forget me now. Uh, you, we should suck it, basically. Um, we sh you have to pick it up to suck it. Oh, you moron. You, you sweet idiot. And now, yeah, you see the issue now, I'm assuming. With no deal with the devil open, we can't go back for it. That would have given us an extra floor of goodness, but... You know what? I'm rattled, dude. I'm not, ash I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm rattled. The game rattled me. More power to it. Please tell me... Oh, we, we already have a battery charge. So, we don't want those. Uh, we definitely do not want to suck those up. Unless we get a respawn in here somewhere. What do you got for me? Death card. Okie dokie. Um, we don't really want to suck those up either, to be honest with you. I don't really want to pay for those. <laughs> Why? Why have you forsaken me? Well, let's think about this. Like, we definitely do not want Plan C. What we can do is take the Necronomicon, put it back down, and then suck it up. Oh, and then that's actually idiotic. Because now, I don't have a battery charge to use against Delirium. Oh, I'm so mind flooded. And then in here, I don't know, I guess we want Glitter Bombs. I mean, that's obvious, but we don't want to accidentally suck IV Bag as a thing. So where are we going to use our Yera Rune? Um, we're going to use our Yera Rune on the chest. We can still have a fun run. That should be our goal right now. Just... Have a good time, you know? It's like Cheryl Crow said, all I want to do is have some fun. I got a feeling I'm not the only one. So I'm drowsy is actually awesome for us, I think. But I'll admit, I'm in full tilt mode here. To lose Boss Rush by 10 seconds, it burns me up, dude. It's not the game's problem, it's my own problem. I should have been slightly faster, but... Uh, it, it is, uh, it's a soul-crushing experience especially knowing that on so many runs that are worse than this i completely made boss rush um but you know what it's a uh people always say you know it's a small price to learn a lesson it's not really it's like the normal price to learn a lesson um but i i prefer the idea that it's not a waste as long as we learn a lesson so what's our lesson learned well in this highly specific scenario um, go to the boss rush if you haven't fought Krampus yet. I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. Especially, what bums me out, dude, is the number of times that I have actually done this exact same thing and not been punished for it. Why couldn't you punish it for punish me for it, like, 
on a non-daily. That's all I ask. I'm asking, like, the universe, the forces that be. You can smell it when I'm walking down the streets. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Now, if you... I mean, like, get out of here. Syringes should just, like, absolutely destroy you. But, in the end, um, you know, it's it's tough to admit, but I've got to take personal responsibility that... My earlier... It, 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 we made a decision in the moment, you know? Literally with, like, two seconds to determine what our best course of action is. We ran it through the old, um, you know, we ran it through the, um... The trivial algorithm, and it, it said that this was the right way to do things, and that turned out to be incorrect. But we could have made decisions earlier in the run that would have sped us up slightly, and that speeding up um, would have given us more time to make a more well-reasoned decision, or more time to just not accept the consequences of uh, the decision we did make, which was, you know, if, if we had 30 extra seconds when we went into that Krampus fight, we could have killed him easily. Either way, though, you know, tomorrow's another day. That's what I like about dailies. They keep me warm at night. Number one, other songs. Don't know the lyrics to this one right. Yeah. Also gotta say, like, our the quality of our run right now is extremely dependent on the aura that we have active. Right now I think we have no aura active because we had a speed aura and then we got hit on this room, so I think we have nothing, but um After like the world's greatest excuse me. After the world's greatest first floor, like in human history, the run has not gotten bad, but it has slowed down. And maybe that's, you know, oh, you should have been there, Northern Lion. On Boss Rush, there was Polyphemus, and uh, after you got Delirium, you picked up Mega, and you just steamrolled the rest of the run. So, you know, who knows, dude? Who fucking knows? I'm just going to keep shrinking away from my responsibilities here. How is it possible that I can be so small, and yet the bullets are magnetically attracted to me? Is it conceivable I could contain this much ferromagnetic uh, material within my own body? Anyway, this daily is... It's up to us to basically practice harm reduction at this point. We're going to minimize the amount of... Uh, the amount of penalty we're going to face on today's daily. I would not be surprised to finish this run and be top 1,000. Which is maybe like top 15%. That'd be a bummer. But it's, it's a high quality daily and... Uh, we, we made a very obvious, or we made a very glaring mistake. I'm also, like, just half hoping we fucking live through today's daily, because, uh... Not sure if you've noticed, but, like... Things are getting a little tight down here. Like, I'm not... <laughs> we, like... Seriously? I like... I'm drowsy. Could... Is it conceivable that you could clear the screen slightly? There was a patch to Isaac today. Now, I'm not suggesting they made the hush fight harder necessarily. But what I am suggesting is that they could have. So now... This is an Isaac run now. Just imagine this is a run on the streak. I made a stupid decision to go, uh... Fight Hush. Now we're paying the price. We're actually on 1 HP. You wouldn't do this to me. You wouldn't do this to me. How is it conceivable that you are not deceased yet? Basically, if he does the, the beams of light attack, I cannot win. <laughs> I know there's a red heart over there. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, he stopped. Why are you the way you are? Our range didn't get him. Keep throwing down glitter bombs. Don't give up the fucking ghost yet. Okay, we're back, boys. We're back. <laughs> Not gonna do the void fight. Might surprise you. Um, shouldn't. 
I'll probably grab that and grab this, I'd say, are uh, big plays for us right now. Yeah, because, you know, like, that was hell. All right, moving on. Again, just win, dude. Maybe this run got bad for everybody. It is possible. So I think, again, we're, we're gunning for time. We also, ne finally, we have the aura that we want here. I mean, I recognize, again, it's my own fault for taking damage in some situations where I would prefer not to have, but... Um, okay. It's like, at, w at what point do you stop patting yourself on the back for not completely fucking up? Like, I basically put ourselves in a position where we should never have been even close to death. And then we almost died. And now I'm gonna be like, we did it. Wow, amazing. The intestinal fortitude did not just completely give up in the face of, like, a slight breeze. But you know what? On a long enough time scale, everybody's gonna have dailies like this. I think, you know, part of daily survival is how you, uh, how you deal with it. So what do we got? We got a... Ooh, first off, we got a health upgrade. Then we got a, uh... Uh, okay, that was weird, but we got a, uh, Dark One who basically just ended his own life by walking into Isaac. Short-circuited the boss music. Either way, this is the ideal aura. It's so good. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. If we could even be, like, top 10% today... I think I'll consider that. Here's the thing. People always go, you know, oh, like, it sucks that... And I, I'm guilty of this as well, like, for sure. But people always go, like, oh, I had one horrible run, and then it's hard to bring my percentages down, like, my average percentage. That's true, but if you've got a lot of consistently good runs, and we have, it's really hard to fuck up your, you know, your GPA with one bad test, as long as you're not worried about maintaining, like, it, it being, like, literally 100%. Um, so, like, one... Mediocre run doesn't completely fuck us. Got Guppy's head. We got sad bombs. We got <laughs> a whiskey bombs. We got a mega bombs. We got the songs that remind us of the good times. We got the songs that remind us of the best times. Um, the bomb synergies are off the charts here so far. And we should, like, there, there should be no doubt that we win this run, of course. Um, I guess we do want to suck up Guppy's head, but. I'm more just looking for keys right now and seeing if maybe there's a chance to suck some other items later. But yeah, uh, this is the one, you know, you you worked your ass off all semester. And then you uh, sadly put yourself in a situation where maybe you're not as prepared for, you know, one of the tests as you could be. But again, you know, you got a 95 on everything else, which is roughly where we're standing, 94.3 or something. You're gonna, it sounds like a bad radio station. You're, you're gonna be fine in the end. It might, you know, lesson learned, basically. It might lower your, might lower our average a little bit, but, but probably not enough to be, uh, hugely disconcerting. It just sucks that it was probably this run, and this run has been fine. With the exception of the, you know, mistakes that I've made. Be like, uh, I don't want to lose this run tonight, yeah. Now we did, uh, we have the damage aura. I accept the damage aura. It's the, um, the tears aura and the damage aura are fine. The speed aura is completely irrelevant at this point in our lives. Who would have thought, like, when I picked up the relic... I almost thought about uh, sucking it up with the Void. Because I thought, like, maybe we don't need Spirit Hearts. That would have been a, a catastrophic decision, man. There's another battery charge back there, so I can live with that. Um, there's another battery charge right here. What did we get for that? I think we got damage, actually. Bad gas, health up. Dude, the health up pills have also been amazing. The mom's... Uh, don't talk to me. The mom's uh, bottle of pills suck was a high quality decision on our on our behalf there. Why do this room? I, okay, well, part of the reason is the exploration bonus. But again, if I'm gunning for speed, this room makes no sense. But I think, like, maybe I'm just gunning for speed because subconsciously I want to rid myself of my own, like, the evidence of my own failure here. At least we didn't die on the hush fight. That would have been... 
Oh, the you would the merciless ribbing I would have gotten on Twitter. Hello, charlatan. It appears you've made a major gaffe in the last Isaac run. What's the matter? Your luck run out, old chap. Oh, please. 19th century newspaper boy, stop. Stop, I'm begging. I'm already dead. All right. We did it. Amazing. Yeah, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's certainly not good. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.